What's up guys, it's DJ H Skate back with another video. Um, so today, this is a new kind of segment on the channel. Um, I've been looking at the comments and I've had a few DMs about um, on Instagram about what I'm doing, the content, and, and the general consensus is that they like the first impression videos, you guys like it, but you want to know how well these shoes skate and what is the damage after um, them being skated okay so this is going to be a new segment on the channel and i'm going to start with today being the first one i'm going to take a look at a shoe that i probably covered too much but it's really the only skate shoe that i currently have um that i can show you two shoes that i've you know of the same model that have been scared a long long time and i can show you what the damage is so i thought i'd start today but yeah if you haven't subscribed or you're new to the channel please give me a follow on my, give me a follow on my Instagram account. Give me a subscribe on my YouTube account. We're at 89 follow, 89 subscribers, which is crazy, okay? Um, I did set a goal that would have 100 by May. We are just entering into April nearly, and we're at 89. So 11 more over the next kind of month, I think is very doable, unless I say something really bad and you all hate me. Um, so fingers crossed I don't. But yeah, so if you like the content, um, check out everything else. Give me a subscribe, that'd be brilliant. But today in Skate Tested, this is the new segment, Skate Tested. Um, we're gonna take a look at a DC Lynx. <laughs> I know I've shown and gone over the shoe so much, but I've been skating it this colorway um, recently. So I thought, why not? I've scared this one. Okay, this is a navy one. As you can see, there's a bit of damage. Um, I thought I'd give you a little um, look at it and tell you what essentially has happened and what I feel about it and whatnot, okay? And I've also got another shoe here. Um, same model, different type of, well, same model essentially, but I've scared it for longer. So let's start on the navy. I've skated this one, this shoe, um, for about, Seven days, I would say, in total. Okay, on and off, because it's rained in the UK and I can't get out all the time or I've got other commitments, so I haven't skated it, you know, consistently. So this is about a week's worth of skating, each session about two to, probably about three hours, maybe more, okay? Um, as you can see, I'm a bit of a kick flippier and whatnot. But yeah, it is a tank of a shoe, okay? As you can see by looking at it, there is not that much noticeable, noticeable, notice, noticeable damage, okay? Obviously, you've got the front here where I do my kick flippies. Obviously, that is going away. Obviously, at the front, it's triple stitched. So you can see there is a bit of damage. And on the toe cap or toe thingy, there's a bit of smoothing out of the rubber. So yeah, it is wearing away. As you can see, it's still holding up. That is well you know we've still got a lot of life left in that a lot a lot of life on the sides there is a bit of damage here and the laces are getting a bit hairy <laughs> um and as you can see there is damage on the tongue but the lacing system really helps because it protects the laces being broken away and snapped and that's the worst thing, because I've skated Converse shoes uh, fairly recently at the start of this year as well. And that's the one thing that really annoys me. I really like them, but because the laces are so front to the, fr so close to the front, if you break one and then break the other, you try and tie them up again if they come loose and whoop, you've got a massive long broken lace and your shoe just slips off your foot essentially, okay? So the lacing system really helps. As you can see, it is um, holding up and it is protecting. Obviously you can't protect all the laces um, because there is damage uh, essentially. But the triple stitch is holding up. Um, on the bottom, no damage whatsoever. You probably wouldn't expect any wearing away of the sole, um, but that sole is pretty thick and that isn't gonna go away soon. I know it's annoying when you wear through the bottom of a shoe um, because you know, your sock starts breaking and whatnot. Um, but with this one, I don't think you've got any worry about that whatsoever. So at the moment, that is the damage on the shoe. I'm not gonna show you the other one because it pretty much looks brand new. I'm not really that great at switch or nolly stuff. I can bang out a nolly, I can bang out a switch ollie, switch 180 and just the basics. Um, but I don't do those tricks all the time. It's probably something on my skating I need to improve um, because I am rubbish at switch. Um, so yeah, but yeah, as you can see, not much damage at all. 
Um, there's some wearing in there, and on the sides there's some, but yeah. It's, it's, I mean, it's a tank anyway. I mean, looking at it, you wouldn't really think that there would be any damage to it, um, especially within a week. But that's how it looks at the moment. It feels great. It's worn in. It's proper. You know, when you slide on a skate shoe, it hugs your feet and it, you know, molds to your foot over time. So if you like that worn in feel, it kind of does do that. But at the same time, uh, keeps the chunky bigness. Because I don't like a shoe that's really, really worn in, where, you know, you put your foot in and it just moves around everywhere. You know, there's still is some um, sturdy nass to the shoe, which I really, really like, um, and it's holding up. So that's like seven days, maybe a little bit more of skating, okay? This is probably about 14 to 20 days worth of skating, okay? I'll probably skate this for about over a month, but within the month, I don't skate every single day. Um, so this is, let's take a look at this one. So similar, Similar kind of damage to the front. Obviously it's leather, so it's gonna tear differently, as you can see. Um, there's more smoothing out of the front bit there. The laces um, on this one, I have actually switched the laces over from another shoe, so they probably don't look as bad, but they were very, very hairy, and they were kind of getting all fluffy and stuff, which is annoying. Um, there is a lot of discoloration within the shoe, but I think it's just because it's white. Because it's white, it looks worse, okay? But apart from that, it's similar areas that are, you know, taking the brunt of the damage. Um, this triple stitching is breaking away at the front here, but I tell you what, the rest of it, it's fully in. Just that bit there, okay, is flopping away. But the rest of it is fully, like, still stitched. Doesn't look like it's gonna be tearing anytime soon. You got a bit of damage on the tongue, where it's discolored from, like, ollies, heel flippies and whatnot, and on the side. Um, there is a bit of shape you know, on the sides, I think you can see like this, it has kind of changed in terms of the shape and it also has started curling at the back. As you can see, it's not like flat like this one. See it? And then that one is kind of, the shape of the shoe is, is, is changing. Um, and it's kind of, let's have a look. Yeah, on the sides here, it's kind of wearing away, which is normal, but there isn't any, there isn't any, Kind of major kind of damage to the bottom and i I'm, i break decks like there's no tomorrow and there's always like fresh grip tape on there so it's not like a four or five month old grip tape it's kind of fresh mob all the time you know that stuff is very very um grippy so you know there's a lot of <laughs> there isn't much damage considering there's a lot of grip on the the grip tape so yeah these shoes hold up really, really well though. They're a great skate shoe. You do have to get used to them. They are completely different to a Vulcanized, okay? The way you flip, you have to kind of change. Going from skating, I've skated Nike SB recently and Converse and loads of different Vulcanized slimmer shoes and you have to definitely get used to it, okay? Um, the flip is completely different. Um, obviously, ollies and stuff like that, that doesn't really change, but flicking tricks definitely change. Um, just because of the way it's shaped and, a, and you know, a vulcanized or a very slimmer shoe is typically a lot more bendier and it can kind of, you don't really need to um, flick as hard just because, it, you know, it molds to your foot and it's very slim. But with these shoes, it is different. You do have to get used to them differently. I do rate them as a skate shoe. I honestly do. There is a bit of, I mean, if you're going from two different types of skate shoes, I mean, if you're skating links after links or like bigger shoes, I don't think you would have too much of a problem, okay? Um, just because it is a bigger shoe. But if you're going from slimmer shoes, you probably will see a difference. I'm gonna rate these at a strong 8.5 out of 10. Um, you know, there is some, there is some negatives, but again, I wouldn't really call them negatives, um, in my opinion. I just think it's really differences, and I don't think there's a, a 10 out of 10 skate shoot, in my opinion. But yeah, holds up really, really well. Um, I don't like the fact that the laces come untied really, really often. That's Like I said, it's not really a negative. It's probably just the way I skate. Um, and like I said, all the other things I've brought up and the, the, where it's uh, breaking away and where it's kind of, you know, you can see the damage on the shoe. This is just based on my skating, okay? It's how I skate. It's not this won't apply to everybody. So some people might blow out laces, some people might not blow out laces, some people might not, you know, f mess up the front bit as quickly as what I do. Um, but that's just how it is at the end of the day. It's just, it's based on how I skate. 8.5 out of 10, there's a lot of positives. 
there's a lot of, I mean, there's a few negatives, but they're not really negatives, they're just differences, uh, okay? So like, it's a chunkier shoe, you do have to get used to it more. You know, you have to uh, adapt your skating in terms of how you flip tricks. But again, um, I think it's just because it's a bigger shoe, I don't think it's a negative, but with like slimmer shoes, I think you can kind of, you can quickly pick it up uh, more in terms of how you flick stuff and you can adapt it and it doesn't take as long to get used to so like I said not a negative but that's how they skate that's how they wear out okay at the front and stuff so yeah check them out they're gonna be very still quite hard to get by these OGs so I hope DC release like a standard line obviously the Lynx zeros are cool some of them are some of them look so cheap um, and the other DC stuff is okay um, but you know most people that I follow on Instagram gravitate towards the OGs just because it's like you know back in the, the golden era of DC where like DC were at the top at the moment they're bringing it back and obviously they're still a massive company but you don't really see many kids at the skate park wearing um, the normal standard line of DCs that's just how it is unfortunately maybe it's different in America but definitely in the UK it's no way as big no 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 way um, you know, you see kids wearing Nike SB, Adidas, um, obviously those two are the main brands because they're, you know, they're not primarily just skate shoes, but in the skate community, you rarely some, see somebody with a standard line DC just because they're not sought after and I think the quality is not great. But with the OGs, they are really, really good. I can't complain. But yeah, that's the video today. Um, I, I thought I'd give you a little insight of how well they are doing. I'll continue to skate this shoe because I think it's sick. But if you haven't subscribed already, please give me a subscribe. If you like the videos, give it a like. Um, and yeah, check my Instagram out, DJHSkate. Um, I post a lot of content on there. So yeah, cool. Anyway, guys, you have a great rest of your Saturday. This is DJ H Skate, and we out of here.